Uh, so my name is Joel Van der Knaap. To make that simpler for everyone out there, Joel VDK, that's how I'm kind of known artistically. And yeah, I'm an artist, illustrator, and I've been doing this for about 15 years. I describe my art as illustration, something like Japanese comics. It's really complex, but at the same time really simple because you're looking at black and white work. So I think I was really drawn to that. You just got the simplicity of black and white, but you've quite often got all these crazy line work going everywhere. Uh, but it also kind of connects to that idea of just playing in your sketchbook from a really practical reason. I've never played with colour too much and any time I've added too much colour it's kind of messed things up so like, just keep it black and white, keep it simple. So the Fresh collaboration came about. Fresh uh, got their 20th anniversary this year, 2018. So yeah, they wanted something new for the wall, something to kick start the year I guess. Uh, the influence or inspiration for what I've done at Fresh has kind of come from a zine that I created and collaborated with a producer called Mecca83. Uh, we've sort of been in touch for a few years and done a few album covers for him. Um, yeah, I'd been doing this zine called Rome for a couple of few issues, uh, about a year or two. And we've been talking about collaborating around bringing music and art together and finding a way to do that. He's in the UK, I'm in Australia, so obviously limitations. So yeah, I thought this was a, a cool way to sort of bring those two things together. I created the, the artwork, he created a beat tape and sort of, yeah, I guess the rough idea is that you'd be sort of flicking through it and listening to the, the tunes that he's made. Yeah, so that's what I've tried to continue that story or that idea on in a larger scale. So taking it from a, a zine uh, up to a big canvases and painting on the wall. Uh, so yeah, musically, grew up in hip hop. Uh, it's very influenced by that. I think it influences my work as well. Um, but as the years have gone on, certainly broadened out into more of a electronic, I guess experimental, even to a bit of noise sort of gear. Um, I think with hip hop, with the lyrics, there's a, there's a point where I just want the lyrics to go away. So got more into beat tapes and that sort of thing, the instrumental side of things. So yeah, still, still love hip hop, still love lyrics, but yeah, I'm certainly interested in the more experimental side of electronic music. Music, I guess, is a soundtrack. It's, which is kind of obvious, I suppose, but it's, I think it's that thing that will spark imagination or spark, spark a thought. I think for me, it's, it inspires visual things. You know, I'll, I'll hear a beat or I'll hear a tune or the music might have a certain atmosphere to it. And that'll kind of, yeah, kick into gear certain visual things. I very rarely draw with no sound or no music at all. Um, so yeah, it's, it's always there.